Hello and welcome to Multiframe Webinar 1, Video 6 on Working with Geometry. A common way to bring geometry into Multiframe is by importing it through a range of different file formats. You can import a substructure into Multiframe, that means if you have an existing Multiframe model, you can add it to another model. This can be handy for standard components like trusses and so on. Multiframe also supports reading and writing a neutral text file format. You can write your own programs to read and write these files so that you can interchange data with Multiframe in a custom way. The STNF, or Standard Detail and Neutral Format File Format, can be used to interchange data with steel detailing programs like XSteel and Strucad, and it allows you to interchange both geometry and the section sizes. Microstrand and SpaceGas are two analysis programs that we can interchange data with, but probably the most common way of reading and writing data to and from Multiframe is via DXF, at least for geometry. That DXF for import can come from AutoCAD or MicroStation or virtually any other CAD system, and it can be in 2D or 3D format. You do need to be aware of the data types that Multiframe supports. You can import line, polyline, arc or face entities from the file. If you have polylines that contain arcs, you should first break the polyline up into a series of lines and arcs before importing it. Each line segment in the DXF file becomes a member in multiframe, so you should ensure that the lines in the files touch accurately at the ends so that they'll be joined together once they come inside multiframe. If you do have any blocks inside the DXF file, you should be sure to explode them before you import them into multiframe. As well as importing DXF files to create geometry, you can also import a DXF file and use it as a background image as a guide while sketching your structure. And that can be handy to put an architectural drawing in the background, for example. So let's go over to Multiframe and see these commands in action. If we go to the File menu, you'll see that all these commands are available under the Import menu. So let's start out by importing a substructure. If we've got an existing model, and then I want to add another model to it, I can just go Import Multiframe Structure, select the truss that I want to import, and then Multiframe will ask me the location to put that. So I'm just going to put that out in space a little bit to the right uh, of this particular model, and then I can just pick that truss up and drag it into position and snap it onto an existing node so that truss is now connected to the rest of the structure. Other types of import that we can deal with include the DXF file, so if I do want to import a DXF file I can just select the file that I've created in AutoCAD and for very complex geometries that can be useful. You can see that you can save your import settings because coordinate systems and so on do vary from file to file. Here I've created a saved setting for AutoCAD which specifies the direction of the X, Y and Z coordinates in the DXF file and which way is positive and negative and also specifies the units within the DXF file. So then each line segment that's been drawn in AutoCAD becomes a member inside of Multiframe. So for this kind of complex geometry, it's a really useful way to bring the data in. Other types of uh, geometry that we can bring in, as I mentioned, that DXF doesn't have to be uh, just geometry, it can be a background. So I can choose Import DXF Background and uh, select some geometry. In this case, uh, if I'm working on a marine project with our MaxSurf software, I could bring in the outline of, um, say, a ship that's been modelled in MaxSurf, and I choose the option to display the DXF background, and that then gives me a visual guide while I'm working. So that if I want to put a structure in place on the deck of the ship, for example, then I can use uh, that DXF background to guide me as I sketch my structural geometry on the deck of the ship. So there's lots of different ways to get geometry into multi-frame. Those are just some of them. Uh, I think you'll find them useful for complex structures or where you have existing geometry definition in your CAD system to bring the data in that way. That concludes our video on importing geometry. Thank you for watching.